Got another one for you. How you doing, boys and girls? How are we doing on this fine day today? Yes, you've been asking for a team game in a long time. I, I can't remember the exact, there's so many comments. When are you doing another team game? When are you doing team games? I know there's a lot of team game fans out there. And don't you worry, because I got your back. Because today, and this is one that I played in as well. This was played, so the 14th of April. This will be going live on the 15th. So this one is hot off the press. Now let's have a look. We have a free versus free with yours truly, Travis the Moonstar. So I'm not going to turn friend or foe colors on because I know how much you guys just absolutely abused me last time because I turned friend or foe colors off. So I'm going to leave it off as, as jarring as it is. Uh, so let's have a look at the teams. What do we have going on here today? It's a very, very high-level team game playing. Uh, so I like to get, you know, I'm not always, but I like to get the high-level team game going as well. So we've got Man Like Robot. You know him, top 10 player. Usually see him on the 1v1 ranked ladder playing as Spain. Today, he is playing as the Germans in a team game. You've got yours truly playing Sweden, my favorite team game civilization. And then we have Martis Kynan, who is a decent player. I think he's around the 17, 1800 ELO sort of mark in 1v1. So he's very good. I'm obviously sort of between 2K to, to 2050 ELO at the moment. Then you've got Robot, who's a top 10 player. And let's have a look at the opponents. You've got Big Bad Ginger, who is an exceptionally good team game player. Very, very high level team game player. You've got... Diesel, who I would say is probably around the same level as Martis Kynan. And then you've got the myth, the legend, the man himself, Mr. Hazza. Hazza. And he is one of the best players to have ever played the game. So he is playing as Hazza Nashoni. So they have, the, the, the opponents have two uh, War Chief civilizations. And if you're ever teaming up, honestly, in team games, right, there are some absolute broken like civilization teams like and when you see two war chief civs it can be really really scary because you know they get those early war, war huts out it's very difficult to beat them they can rush super super early and yeah it's very very scary so uh we do have a, a decent team comp though as well we've got that classic sweden uh sweden carolian and uh, uh german uh cavalry there you see there that we just picked up I'm not sure why it didn't show there, but we just picked up a big uh, treasure there. Uh, me and Robot doing some teamwork there. I think that was about like, I don't know, that was like 300 XP. I'm not really sure why it didn't show there. Did it really not show there? Oh, no, it did. Okay, 240 XP, so it did show. Maybe there's a little delay on the recording. So, yeah, so I just picked up 240 XP. And then we're going to start looking at this one here, which gives increase of uh, infantry by 5% for treasure. With five delinquent fuggies, like that's insane. That is an insane treasure, especially in team games where you're spamming the same, um, you're spamming the same unit over and over and over again. Okay, look, we've got some forward bills coming in here from green. That's going to be Hazard. Like I said, he's their double war chief sift, so that could be super scary. He's going to be coming forward, building a forward base, no doubt. There's lots of TPs. We've got Martis over here, French. We've got Diesel here. So, you know, knowing Hazza, and because they're the War Chief Civs, one of the best ways to get eco with the War Chief Civs is to go for TP line. So we'll see if they go for that. I'm asking where the forward base is going to be. And uh, Robot is saying home. So we're going to play very, very defensive here. Let's have a look at Robot's um, deck here. You can see, look at, the, look at this. Look at the difference between this and a 1v1 uh, deck. Look, look how many team cards look how many eco cards there are in in here team games team games are a different kettle of fish to 1v1s they are honestly it's almost like playing a different game um so yeah he's got lots of eco cards ginger also getting down a war hut and look at this double war hut like i said super difficult to break this it's four minutes 30 and they're getting their war huts up already let's go have a look at ginger he is aztec let's have a look at his deck you know a bit of a 1v1 slash team deck as well so has the team free villagers card. That's going to be worth nine villagers. In a free in a free v three, that is nine villagers. That's insane. A nine villager card in age two. That is so unbelievably insane. Already the big button been called for the Jaguar Proud Knights. Let's go have a look at Martis Kynan. 
does have uh, injured. He's currently, I did not know this, he's shipping Team Quiche. And that gives everyone a uh, 1.8 food trickle. So again, that's kind of like, that's two villagers each. I mean, it's, it's a bit more than that. It's about two, two and a half villagers each without any eager. So essentially, that's not quite as good as team three villagers, but it's it's almost as good. So it's giving it's giving everyone in our team one point eight food trickle. I did I didn't even know that was said. So it's funny looking back at this. Uh, what other cards does he have? Pretty standard team deck. Other side, other than that. Um, yeah, this is funny. So we've got some uh, those Jaguar Prowl Knights diving in against this villager over here, trying to build this. I'm trying to... I, I, I see this... Whoa, look, I almost build down those two torps. And I just see this forward base. Uh, you, we'll have a look over at me. Uh, right on the end. Look, I just scouted them as soon as those uh, those torp wagons got over there. So I quickly ran away because I knew they'd be instantly taken down. The hussars are hot on my tail. But I think I just about managed to get most of the stuff down here on this mine anyway. Good old robot saving the day for me there as well. I've got some Carolians out already. I'm going to try and defend this torp. I, I think I get that one just about. Has it. Has some Tomahawks out. There they go. Just about to get that built and save the villager. It's buying me some time. Yeah, there goes those four torps. Nice, sexy amount of Ulons from robot here. You take a look at my deck if anyone wants to see. This is my team deck. I've got that team Halberdiers, Dalkalian, Dalkalian. Rebellion, you might see that later. Ooh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Spoilers, you do see it. <laughs> I, I couldn't keep it. And it was uh, one of my favorite cards with Sweden. You see here, I got lots of wood. One thing I'm struggling with here is I'm struggling with mines. I can't put any on these forward mines anymore because they're just going to get just taken down instantly. I've scouted behind my base deliberately to see if there's any like mines around there, and there's not. Um, I've got to be careful about mining my uh, my teammates' uh, mines up as well because they're obviously going to want it, particularly Germany. So I go all the way over to this side of the map and start uh, getting some mine some torps down. I'm doing some battling here. Robots coming to back me up with a huge amount of Oolons there. Robot is an insane uh, cavalry player as well. You don't often see it in 1v1s, but in team games, he's very, very good with his uh, cavalry micro. I'm starting to double racks. Um, Carolines there. You, I think you notice I went for 700 gold instead of uh, Engelsbund Ironworks. I do go for Ironworks, but I, I was running. I didn't have a lot of gold. And because I couldn't torp a lot, I didn't have a lot for the double racks. And I needed that to double pump those Carolians. So I shipped 700 gold to my torp and it started gobbling up. So I've got plenty of gold in reserves. And then I just put a load of villagers onto food. So that was a little minor adaptation by me because of this rush. I needed to ship 700 gold. I now am shipping Ironworks. Okay, so have a look at Hazard. He's on 28 villagers. They are pushing down here. There's lots of things going on up here. We've got Cavalry versus Cavalry. We've got Diesel fending off Martis Kynan. And we want Martis Kynan here to try and do some raiding. But it looks like Diesel's going to do a good job there. This is what Team Game's all about, getting every advantage, trying to kill your opponent. Look at this Diesel going back with some more Hazards there. There's, there's me and Robot. This game can be explained with me and Robot basically fending for ourselves me and robot playing as a team game and martis kind and just kind of doing his own thing and that's okay as long as he's hurting the opponent's eco that's okay we're backing up just a little bit here i think i'm waiting for my i'm waiting for two uh lever cannons here and two lever cannons uh, is going to be nice here look at this robot doing some nice micro catching this light infantry the atontins um, off there without the, uh, the the support from the heavy infantry, which is nice. They back up a little bit. So look, we've got a decent mass here. Again, though, look, Diesel now doing some counter raiding. And he's taken at least one villager there. And Mar we, Martis Kynan's kind of left to fend for himself there a little bit. There's flashes going off everywhere. Look, Martis has got some cav here. Diesel's got some cav here. So Diesel's doing a really good job fending off the cavalry. So we've got a 2v2 going on here. Me and Robot versus Ginger and Hazard, whilst Diesel and Martis Kynan are kind of doing their own thing. Look, a couple more villagers going to go down there. Martis Kynan's on double stables right there. Let's go have a look at uh, Martis Kynan and see what he's doing. He's only on 25 vil, so how he's going to be able to provide for double um, 
Double stable, I'm not really too sure. Look, more villagers are up for grabs there as well. Martis Kynan, he's really getting brutal. I mean, he's doing some raiding of his own. Just one villager go down there, but that's it. And now the Ulan flank coming in here. While well, I've got my two liver cannons in the background, I've got Caroleans with support. And look at this split here by snaring all of this heavy infantry, moving stuff back just so he gets out of range of that melee range. And the Atontin's getting gobbled up by Ulan's here. But so many villagers went down there and look. Just stuff going on everywhere, fights going on everywhere. We managed to beat this back. They do take down all my torps, but that's okay. I can rebuild torps. As long as I keep my villagers alive and as long as I can beat his army, that's absolutely a-okay. And look at this. So finally, Martyr's kind of been able to beat this back. He's on 23 vil, so he has lost a few villagers. I'm still struggling for Torps. That's big one, been one of my biggest problems this game. It's not the best map for Sweden either, um, especially if your opponent is taking the map. I'm really relying that I've, I've had to go five uh, Torps on uh, this, uh, this mine over here. I'm starting to go really aggressive over here as well. That's a nice Torp. That is point, point 0.15 food. That's really nice. Martis Kynan. Dive in some cav up. And look at this. France already having to use this mine as well. I've had to go on, on this torp. Uh, sorry, on this mine as well. A couple of torps there. And yeah, it's just very difficult for Sweden to, you know, find find any good mines. 700 gold and then 600 gold coming in for Martis. He really needs that gold spot. I like this in a team game. He's gone for double stable. And he's relying on both the gold crates to kind of produce that gold for him to be able to double pump. But look at this raiding going on here. It's absolutely beautiful. Does get caught though. Such, still has some Minutemen, which isn't getting found. But yeah, Diesel is going to be able to protect that. We're now deciding to... He's, look at this. Hazza and the Atontins are diving in here. So I thought, do you know what? Let's counter push. And look at this. I get a charge. And look how many juicy villagers there. Oh, gobble, oh, oh, gobble. Beautiful. So that is a lot of Diesel's villagers. So essentially, Martis Kynan has been struggling to get any villagers all game. And I just go in there and gobble about 10 villagers up. So this is a nice little push from me and Robot here. Robot is struggling. He's getting raided by Pikeman over here with all of his villagers on the move. And whilst this is going on, it's a bit of a base trade, if you will. Base trade versus forward base trade. And so we, we make this, this decision. We have to do something. We're not going to be able to catch up here. And by the time we do, they've just done so much damage. And look at the scores. It's looking we're 5k score down in total. And we do clean up shop here. We take a load of cab as well. Diesel forgetting about that. We take a load of tomahawks out here as well. Martis kind and only on 22 villagers. That's not good. I'm on 34 and I've got both my upgrades done for my torps. So I'm looking pretty sexy right now if I do say so myself. However, I'm, I'm, on, I'm the top lead right now. However, I am getting super hard pushed right now. And I know I've done a lot of damage to this forward base. They've given up their forward base and all of that tempo that's potentially about to come here. Um, but we do lose a TC. Uh, we may lose my TC as well, which I think we are. But that's okay. Uh, I don't need my TC as much as other civilizations do. I just need to keep my torps alive. As long as I can keep my torps alive, I'm okay. I'm starting to mass a load of uh, light infantry there. Uh, sorry, uh, leather cannons. I've got a lot. I've got a lot of Carolines out right now. My Carolines, I believe, are upgraded as well. Let's take a over look at Hazard. He's on 46 villagers, so looking really, really smart. Really, really nice. A couple of crossbows here from Robot. I'm diving, I'm diving these bad boys in. I had five leather cannons spewed up and they were about a second away coming out there. If those five leather cannons come out, they would have caused nuclear destruction. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I'm bringing down all of my reinforcements right now. I still have one leather cannon, which is still enough. Some torps are going down, but I've still got a decent amount of torps up. So I can still produce from these barracks and that's all that matters right now. I'm just diving in, getting the snare in, letting the leather cannons do bat work from the back. Ulon's up here as well. So we clean up quite nicely there. Some of these tomahawks do manage to get away. 
We've got, again, Martis Kynan. You can see all game he's kind of been struggling. And uh, his, his cap rating hasn't been fantastic. Uh, he's been getting caught by Diesel as well. Diesel's been doing a really, really good job. Both of these guys basically going for cab type uh, builds. And Diesel just winning out quite hard here. There's, there's another T, this Martis Kynan's second TC is, is kind of a very obvious TC. I'm not sure I liked that TC uh, placement, I have to say. All of my all of my villagers come. You see yellow. I just dived all of my villagers over to robot side because I, I knew my TC was going to get taken down. So I just dived all of my villagers over to the right side. Some pipemen going on here. Let's go have a look. Uh, Diesel's on 29 vills. Compared to Martis Kynan, uh, who's there, they're both French. Um, uh, looking pretty good for Diesel compared in comparison. Robot on 30 villagers plus all of his uh, settler wagons. You see some villagers, these these Puma Spearmen being super annoying here. I get my second TC down here as well. So that TC saving Robot there. So that's nice teamwork there. Robot doing some nice raiding of himself. Going to be picking up four. So that's very, very nice. I come in here to try and save the day against Goon's Tomahawks. I'm looking really good right now. All I need to do is get my TC down and I start aging. Goon's... I see those goons, and I know I can't just run. I can't chase them because they're faster than me. So I'm just going to have to try and, again, I'm going to have to counter push because that's the best way I can uh, uh, try and play here. Robot's got some nice oolons. Look how many dead stuff there is there. I think they were warriors. Just absolute destruction in his wake. And a mass of oolons like this is difficult to deal with. And look, I go down, I go down and do some counter pushing of myself. I'm on the left side protecting Martis Kynan over here. Whilst my TC is secretly down here, Ging has just reached the Fortress Age. Me and Robot kind of hugging together on this side of the map. We've got, we've literally lost all of our, if you take a look at the map, look, we lose all our TCs. We've got kind of scattered houses everywhere. So we're really hunkering down on this side of the map. Just a thin sliver of it. Tomahawk's doing some damage to me, but I'm doing some damage to him. And look at this, Diesel. Go have a look at him. He's about to lose a lot of villagers. He, we saw him on 28, so he was on about 30 villagers at least. And look at that. I kill about another 10 villagers from Diesel. That's the second huge raid I've done against Diesel. So probably about 20 villagers in total I've killed. I'm I'm in H3 now. I've got veteran Carolians. Diesel shipping a fort. We go and have a look over at me. I'm now going straight into H4. And I've already shipped Snaplock and platoon fire so my carolians are insane right now 15 villagers uh, 15 range sorry they've got extra multis versus cab now i'm taking down war huts I'm, I'm just applying a huge amount of pressure to hazard and hazard is their best player without a doubt there comes the platoon fire there's that extra 0.5 multi versus heavy cavalry so the, my carolians are absolute beasts right now his Tomahawks as well are just absolutely nothing here. I'm pushing. I'm splitting my Carolians here just because I want to try and catch some villagers out. I think I do. Uh, you see these villagers start running. I didn't see the jackpot over here, but I put these guys in melee just because I want to get the snare on them. And melee is very effective. Look, 24 hand attack. Do insane amount of damage to villagers who have uh, range resist, don't forget. I'm pushing in here as well. Hazard has just aged up, and he's starting to make some of uh, these scary forest prowlers. Goons coming in to protect me. But what's important here is that we're applying pressure, so we're buying ourselves time. Tomahawks are down here doing some more damage to my torps. I just dive in here against these falconets. But that was a nice cover by these goons. I think I take down about one falconet, but I struggled to get the second one because it's really nice cover there from the goons. So nice work by Diesel. But I've done a lot of eco damage to Diesel now. Martis Kynan is struggling. He needs to get back into the game, as does Robot. All my Carolines do go down. And I get to that point now where I think I start realizing it's probably worth, because I'm in industrial, I aged up with the secret weapon, which is the Dow Carl Pikeman. So I aged up with that uh, age up option. And so what I start doing is, is I start putting all my torps onto wood because I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to get a lot of gold right now. So I thought, well, do you know what? I'm just going to go for uh, veteran apartment and then Dow Carl Pikeman, uh, which I think is one of the best um, units in the in team game. In in the ent entirety of any civilization in this game, team game, Dow Carl Pikeman are so, so effective. And look at this. Martis Kynan losing more villagers here. This is not what we want to see. Go have a look at uh, Hazza. He's on 53 villagers. So even Hazza's been struggling because I've been doing a good job against him. Diesel is back up to 32. Uh, Robot's on 38. Robot's doing a good job getting back into the game. 
Uh, he didn't lose his TC, though. So, Ginger on 50 vils. Uh, Martis Kynan on 23, 24 villagers. So, he's really, really struggling right now. He's losing. He's lost so many villagers. Oh, he's on... He's, no, he's down to 16. He's on 17 villagers. Dear oh, dear oh me. Martis Kynan really struggled this game. Robot now losing some. But look at these bad boys. Look at those sexy skins with those Dal Kyle. Looks like they're doing some work on the A1 or M25. Look at this, a luminous yellow and blue. Want to make sure that they're not lost in the headlights. And these goons are putting in work. Martis kind of doing, doing some raiding of his own over here. I've got two heavy cannons. And uh, these heavy cannons are going to do work, believe me. Robot going for some war wagons here. And look at these guys. Look at these guys. It says 40 wood and 40 food, but it's 25 wood and 25 food. Uh, and, and they have they have guard stats, which is just insane. And Martis Kynan goes down to 13 bills. I see that fork go up. I'm like, no, no, Sunshine. That is not going up. And these guys have 51 siege attack. So I make sure I dive in against that fort. Do not give them map control whatsoever. And these two heavy cannons really come to save the day. I think the goons are going to try and come for a little poach here. But my Dalkar Pikeman, he doesn't want to dive in against them. He knows he has to back up straight away. Because those Dalkar Pikeman will do so much work. They do like 60 damage to cavalry. And Martis Kynan without ATC right now. He's down to 12 villagers. You would think ordinarily, look at the scores. He's on 9K. You'd think that's GG. And look at our opponents. I mean, we are getting absolutely obliterated right now on the scores. Can we make a comeback and get into this game? You'll have to wait and find out. Another TC going down for Martis Khan. And I don't like that position, no. I do not like that position. Okay, he's, he's putting one down here. I guess he's putting a second one down over there. That's fine. Um, I'm, I'm hunkering down over here on this right side of the map. I've just got villagers all on wood. Uh, let's have a look at Travis myself. So I'm I'm doing pretty well. I get enough gold there to get mechanicalism. I'm getting both of my factories. I've got this bad boy, Great Northern Forest right now, which is absolutely insane. We look at my torps. Look at this 0.7 wood and 0.5 food. I can just keep producing these absolute monsters of a pikeman. Just infinitely. Infinite Dalkar pikeman. 25 food, 25 wood. Absolutely insane. <clears throat> So that, that mine is just about gone. So sieging down these torps is actually quite good for me because I can rebuild these torps. So that's absolutely fine for me. They've also run out of food. So in actual fact, he's doing me a favor by taking these torps down so I can rebuild them. They get the blueberries um, so, and, and they get more wood. So that's absolutely fine for me. Um, I did say on the way, so I did a little bit of nice, little bit of team game play going on there. I, I offered to uh, ship the four prospector wagons for my teammates. And knowing that my mate is Germany, that robot is Germany, they need, they need gold. So I'm going to give him all of those mines. I'm just going to put those mines down and give them all to my teammate to uh, gobble up. I just dive in with 50 pikemen here. <laughs> and I just go straight for the TZ. Because what are they going to do? These guys are so cheap. Even if I lose all of them, it doesn't matter. I can just attack move these goons away. I can snare anything else. I should have been killing a lot of these villagers. But I think I just dive in and try and uh, do, do damage to TCs here. These Dalkar pikemen do so much damage. They do so much annoyance as well. That's the big thing. And this is essentially what I'm doing right now. I'm spamming from four barrackses. I get another two, something like that. So at some point, I'm just spamming from six barrackses. And, because, <laughs> and look, at, look at my wood and food right now. Like, <laughs> it's just insane. I can put down more torps as well. I start putting down meals. And yeah, I just, I just infinitely spam um dow carl pikeman and i'm just diving in people's bases i'm splitting them off it's really good to have good micro here i'm splitting them off i'm vi I'm, I'm raiding vills uh you know i'm doing so much damage i, I could have killed two i, I could have killed two uh light like, cannons there um and yeah i'm just being being a massive nuisance look while that's all going on i'm just diving them in everywhere i'm literally my my I'm clicking everywhere across the map with my Dalkar Pikeman, and I'm just raiding, trying to raid from every single direction you can think of. 
just to be annoying and just to buy my opponents, um, my, my teammates, sorry, lots and lots of time to get back into this game. There go the four prospector wagons. And uh, I say to I say to uh, Robot, they're all yours, mate. They're, they're all yours. Two, four, six, eight. There's eight K gold there for him. I don't need gold. So I'm being a good team player there. Let's go have a look at Hazard. Hazard's almost done max bills. He's not far off. And his score is showing as well. Like he's top score right now. 35k. So he's been, he's playing really, really good. So again, I need to buy myself. I need to buy my opponent lots of time. I've got Dow Carl Pipeman besieging uh, another TC over here. So Hazard's looking really, really good. Look, he's, look at this deck from Hazard. I saw him earlier ship conservative tactics. I don't even know what that does. Environmentalism. Trees last significantly longer. Coin costs of Forest Prowlers and Musket Riders are replaced by wood. So that's a really nice card. He's uh, shipped the 11 villagers or the 10 villager and one covered wagon. Um, and now he's shipped to Warhut. So yeah, now and four light cannons there. So yeah, he's got he's got he's gone really heavy eco. Me and Robot are pushing from this side. Look, lots of sexy Warhuts. I've still got those two heavy cannons alive. My snaring with the Dow Car Pipe, and they're so effective at just snaring. And they're so cheap that it's so cost effective with them as well. And these war hut, these uh, war wagons, sorry, do 58 range damage. They really do a lot of damage. Look, I'm sieging war huts down. I'm just absolutely everywhere on the map. And uh, let's go have a look at Diesel. Diesel's doing pretty good. 57 vils. I think we saw his deck earlier. Pretty, pretty. Okay, that's, that's not a bad team deck. He's got both the refrigeration and royal mint. He has thoroughbreds and 10 curs, uh, 10 CDB. Sorry. I'm sieging down more TCs. So I'm just killing so many buildings. Look, we're, I'm over this side of the map as well. I'm supporting Martis Kynan over here. We're doing a really good job just being super annoying. Absolutely everywhere on the map. Uh, robots on 48 vils, so probably about 58. Uh, let's just go have a look at... Look at this. Look at this. He's got like 20 vils on mines here. I did put a couple of torps down, but that's okay. I don't know where his settler wagons are. See if we can see his settler wagons. I'm not really sure. He's sure. Maybe he's lost all of his settler wagons. No, he's got some left still. He's got four. So he's only on about 54, 53 vils right now. So he's been, you know, he's been getting back into the game as well. Um, he's what he's shipping right now. Just lots of like, not eco cards, which is kind of what you want in a team game. Uh, he's been forced to kind of ship military cards. So look at this. Look at this though. Just so many, so much stuff. And you've got to be careful of these Dow Car Pikemen. You have to, you have to. This is the great thing about this as well. Like the, the Pikemen, I can literally just click attack move and siege, right? That's all I need to do. And, and then I can look elsewhere on the map and I can do other things. My opponent has to constantly baby feed his micro. He has to constantly be me microing back and forward, uh, which is, which it takes a lot of APM. And look at this, he, the goons try and go for my heavy cannons again, but I've just got another huge mass of Dalkal pikemen. And look, there comes the card, I almost forgot about it. Oh, hallelujah. You see all of the veteran, all of those Dalkal pikemen, look. They all turn into halberdiers. So I currently now have 86 halberdiers. <laughs> ah, so I did ship this card here, Dalkalian. Dalkalian uh, Rebellion uh, because I just had so many. I'm even I'm laughing. And look at these guys. 240 HP and 28 hand attack. These things cost 70 gold and 50 food. And I just transformed 90 of them. And it like the, the amount of resource that that's worth is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Someone do the math on that. And now I've just got... They are veterans, so I, I could have upgraded them before I shipped the card. Uh, but that's okay. I, you know, that's that's not too that's not too important, really, at this stage. Because I'm still just making uh, Dow Carl Pyman. Uh, but just having a load of these tanky-ass halberdiers, it's like you... you, you oh, it's just so insane that the, they, they actually don't have as much um, uh, siege attack as Dow Carl Pyman, but they're so much tankier, and they do so much more damage as well to non... Uh, cavalry type stuff. Look, I've just got... Look, I'm sieging everywhere as well. Halberd is sieging everywhere. I've got stuff over here now as well. So, yeah. Fun card there. Really good card to send. Uh, if it's timed right as well. Look at them getting stuck in here. They do so much damage in melee. They're basically like mini hazards. I do what I need to do with them. I've bought so much time. 
with sieging. We've, we've destroyed this half, this kind of quarter of the map. Me and just me and Robot destroying that side of the map. We that the, the tempo we have does finally run out. Uh, but I'm I, again, I'm still going to continue running around the map. Scores very very close now. We've actually just about edged it. And uh, all this is important for all this is important for Diesel on 58 Vils is for my friends Robot and Martis Kynan to get back to the game. And Martis Kynan is back up to 46 villagers. He hasn't been here the entire game. He has been on the left side, which I've been supporting him. But he's done a fantastic job to get back into this game with fantastic eco here. Just sieging everything down. And he's actually gone for the entirety of the TPs on the map as well. These have got stagecoach. So he's done a really good job now. His eco is looking really good right now. So me and Robot pat ourselves on the back there. We have bought him lots of time and allowed him to get back onto the map. And back into the game. So good for him. Just me and Hazard in H4 at the moment. Cavalry combat coming in. Goons, more raiding against Martis Kynan. A TP does go down as well. So they, they've they kind of um, consolidated their efforts here and they've kind of defended me and Robot. And now they're, they, now they're kind of like trying to reorganize and get themselves back to the game. My two heavy cannons are still alive. Still alive. They've been alive for like 10 minutes now. What an absolute beast they have been. I finally siege down that last house. And look, I'm just splitting the opponent's army. We've now essentially forced them into one big lump sum in, in the kind of the back of the map over here. So it's kind of very much we're at this side on the south and they're at the north side of the map. And everything, you know, in between and on the sides is basically just fair game right now. So me and Robot have done a fantastic job here. Getting a couple of uh, hits off with my heavy cannons. Still just spamming, spamming Dow Carl Pikeman. 25 wood and 25 food. I'm getting a couple more barracks down here because I want to come up here and support, siege all of this stuff down so I can support Martis even further. Hazard on 96 villagers, basically full right now. He doesn't have uh, the healers though, but he don't think he needs them. So Hazard looking really scary right now. He's on 66 vils. He's looking okay. Robot back up to 78, though. He's looking really good as well. Now he's shipping guard artisans as well. Look at that. That's a huge eco card. And look at this. I can just afford... I'm going to lose so many. But look, I can just dive in all these Dow Car Pipemen. I take down the field cannons. And now, look, I'm just forcing my opponent into melee with everything. I'm, I'm forcing the goons away from the cavalry as well. Just absolutely everything. And look. <laughs> it's just so difficult to deal with. My opponent has to constantly kite backwards. And look at the damage of these guard war wagons with my two heavies behind it all as well. Absolutely insane. And don't forget, I'm taking good trades because my units are so cheap. They are so cheap. Robot now actually ahead of me in score. So I've passed the baton onto him. I've allowed, I've given my, my team so much time here. And Robot is a very, very good player. He's been doing really well with me as well. The entire game, his cav rating has been fantastic. We've got both factories here. Lots of estates now coming down. We've really look, we're just chugging in this side of the map. I've still got lots of torps that are producing an insane amount of wood and food. And my remass, it's just never ending. I can just constantly remass these pikemen. Robot, he's got some really nice cards. Spanish riding school. He shipped this guard artisans, like I said, 35% for his uh, settler wagons, which he can make more of now as well. And look at this, Martis Kynan kind of pushing this side of the map. I'm supporting him. That's what those two barracks is here were for, just so they can con continually come up here. Because with these Dalkar pikemen, these cab constantly have to move back. They constantly have to um, uh, be microing. And I can just siege all this stuff down. And it's allowing Martis Kynan to push on this side of the map. And whilst they send reinforcements over there, we're just moving in the middle side of the map now as well. We're sieging down walls. We're getting back in there. My two heavy cannons are still alive. And look, all of my stuff goes down, but it does. 
doesn't matter because I've got another 50 down power pipe and coming in instantly. Look at this. Splitting the opponent's army. War wagons doing some work there. And look at this. Look at this. He can't dive in against me. These two heavy cannons. Oh, these two heavy cannons, have, are, are they, they are literally MVP this game. And look how much work. Look, another 30 pipemen coming in for me. They're essentially going as much light infantry as they can with some goons. <coughs> I'm, I'm just finding opportunities to send pipemen in. To, to start doing some raiding. Sieging down estates. Sieging down farms. Sieging anything I can. Robot doing really good. And Ging is only on 63 villagers, so he's lost a lot of villagers. They finally take down my two heavy cannons. It's 35 minutes in the game. They are MVP. They have been alive for a long time. <coughs> this game is... Uh, team games are, are absolutely brutal for your voice box. <laughs> and there's so much going on. And even for uh, me, a veteran caster... I'm definitely going to be losing my voice after this game. And look at this. Just making an annoyance of my opponent. Sieging down the estate, which costs, what, 600 wood? It gives me 240 XP. Huge. And it's buying time as well. Wow, Ginga being forced to put 25 villagers onto his community plaza. He only has 72. So that's sacrificing a lot of eco. Robot's going to make some oolons here. Martis Kynan somehow on 9,900 of gold. I'm guessing he shipped this card, Fur Trade. Just put everyone on food and he shipped that card. Big brain, I have to say. And he's managed to get back up to 73 bills. He's getting, he's aging up with the Tycoon. So, uh, Martis Kynan has played really well in the latter half of this game. I've just got Pikeman coming in everywhere. Let's go have a look at Travis the Moonstar again. I'm working my way up. I'm only on 51 villagers. Hey, that's just extra room. That's an extra 50 pop room for more Pikeman. Why wouldn't I? Who wants villagers? And look at that perfect timing of the cavalry from Robot there. My opponent is going triple light infantry. Skirms, Forest Prowlers, and the Tontins. Robot with the huge big brain there. They're just trying to counter these Dalkal Pikemen and War Wagons, but they can't. And look at this. Just diving in. Constantly putting the opponent on the back foot. I am literally just infinitely making these things from six uh, six barracks here. Look at this. Look at this. It's just so difficult for the opponent to do anything. I'm trying to push this forward base. Robot's going to rebuild. Very nice. I'm sending Pikemen over here to defend this. I'm sending Pikemen over here to go over here. I'm sending Pikemen over here. And look, they're just sandwiching in the opponent, snaring everything. <coughs> Apologies, I keep coughing, but wow, this game is just so hype. I am aging up as is Robot now. Hazza still on 98 veils. And he's trying his hardest to make stuff to counter, but he's trying to push here, but he's, there's just too much going on. <laughs> These pipemen just get stuck in there. They have insane siege as well. Look at this 51 siege attack. So they just take they take buildings down so quickly. Martis kind of pushing on the left side of the map. See, all game, Martis has been playing a 1v1, and me and Robot have been playing a 2v2, 2v3 at times. 
but it's working out. We look at the score difference now as well. We just, we've just got to keep applying pressure. I'm trying to split my army just to try and go from everywhere. Look, it's just constant, constant Valkyrie pipemen everywhere. Ginger is still in H3. Robot doing some raiding over here as well. Finally getting taken down. But this is what it's all about. It's taking the map control. Got those guard skirmishers. Look at those sexy skirmishers from France. Napoleon would be proud. Look at those Prussian Ulons. Over 400 HP and 81 attack. Holy cow. Dow Carl Pipeman, they're about to go Imperial. Robot on Maxfields as well. He's getting Imperial Prussian Ulons. Look at these. 500 HP. I've got Dow Carl Pipeman about to get Imperial as well. In they come. Imperial Dow Carl Pipeman. 67 siege attack and 288 HP. Absolutely insane. Hazard has called the GG. The trade monopoly has started for Martis Kynan, and they are all out from there. What an insane game that was. And look at this team game. Look, they're in one side of the map. We're in the other side of the map, all hunkered down over here. Absolutely insane. Martis Kynan getting himself back into this game. And after that, he was able to push this side. Me and Robot. Wow, me and Robot talk about the Dream Team. Hazard, Ginger, and Diesel. It looked good for them when they were pushing our bases. Maybe they should have continued pushing in, but we defended well. We pushed their forward base, and it was an interesting base trade. And they were well and truly on top. But with the Dow Carl Pipeman, the Imperial Dow Carl Pipeman, it was just GG from there. 67 siege attack. Just 20 of them almost almost siege down any, any building in the game after a few seconds. Ginger, unfortunately, just getting raided here as well. Wasn't able to get a decent eco going. And I think we sieged down all of his farms. It was a, uh, it was Ginger we hit really hard over here early on. And look at this, just wiped him off the map. And he struggled to get back into it. Let's go have a look at the post-game stats. Martis Kynan actually ending on second, the second score. Wow, that was an impressive way to get back into the game. And that's the power of France in team games. And look at the village account. Martis Kynan losing so many villagers all the way down to 11 villagers at one point. But look what we did to Ginger. Ginger was almost leading on the village account along with Hazard. But then look at this. Look at these raids. He loses 10 there. He loses another 10 there. And he drops with 63 all the way down to 25. That's thanks to the Daokao and Halberdier card. That was that Halberdier switch right there absolutely insane and i tell you what he does an absolutely phenomenal job to get back up to 99 villagers there um but but by that time it, it sacrificed so much to get back into that i finished on <laughs> the lowest amount pretty much <laughs> but my torps were where my eco was diesel losing so many bills at the end there losing a decent chunk here i think Diesel was, I got this big raid from 36 down to 25, and then I took him down from 31 to 21. So both the French players losing a lot of villagers this game. But Hazard doing really fantastic job. We do a lot of raiding on him here. But yeah, absolutely insane there. Let's go have a look at the military. Uh, robot, he made a lot of war wagons, but he made more Ulons. Uh, look at this. Units killed 552, and he only lost 189. That's insane. Five buildings raised. Diesel. Uh, pretty, yeah, units killed, units lost. Uh, pretty good ratio by him. Hazard, 626 killed. And he uh, he lost 407. Another fantastic trade for him. Um, he made 157 um, champion Tomahawks. And we come over to Travis the Moonstar. And look at this. I made 805. Damn, God, by <laughs> I made over a 1,000 units this game. I killed 418 and lost almost double that. Just over double that. But I raised 72 buildings. <laughs> oh, that's just insane. These guys, they're just... I can lose double. I can lose triple, even quadruple the amount. But because they cost so cheap, it doesn't matter. Martis Kynan, also kind of very, very even. Stevens there. And that's to be expected. And then Ginger lost more than he made as well. 212 Atontins. But just look at the power of those Dalkar Pipemen. Absolutely insane. There's the eco stats. Robot ending on a huge mass there. Hazard was on top. I was 
I had the second best eco, almost almost the joint eco with Hazard there. We'll go over look over at all resources gathered. And Hazard is leading the way along with myself. Martis, Martis kind and look, that's that third trade boost there. Um, robot coming up from the rear as well. Diesel and then Ginger losing all of those vills and he had to sacrifice lots of eco just to get villagers back. And unfortunately, it just did not pay off for him. So have a look at the military unit population. And uh, wow, look at that early mass from Robot. Look at Robot. He had like double anyone else at the early game. Um, I then started to get the Dow cars and look, I just I had I had a hundred what a hundred and forty three Dow Carl Pipeman at one point. A hundred and forty three. <laughs> Absolutely insane game. Uh I, I think I've seen everyone's pretty much seen everyone's uh deck right now. And yeah, that was a really, really fun game. There's my deck. That card coming in hype. I tell you what, that will probably be the thumbnail, if not Imperial Dow Carl Pipeman. Absolutely really fun game. And guys, if you're playing Sweden in team games, this is the unit you have to make. Dow Carl Pipeman, absolutely insane. Just run around the map, just siege stuff down. You name it. These guys are insane. Absolutely phenomenal. GG, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. My voice is going to need to take a break from that one. And I will catch you guys in the next game. Thank you all for the love and support, by the way. Love you guys so much. This I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for your support. Uh, thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.